The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. Welcome to the show. Hi to everyone watching live from the We Survive Bush, You Will Survive Obama Facebook page and the I Love It When I Wake Up in the Morning and Barack Obama is President Facebook page. Check out both of those. Yesterday was debate number one, presidential debate number one. We have so much to say about it. I did get a picture on Twitter just before the start of the debate from Trevor James, who had a David Pakman Show t-shirt. He was ready to debate in his David Pakman Show t-shirt. I have to say, does this guy look a little bit like me? A little bit. Yeah, there seems to be somewhat of a resemblance there. But anyway, Trevor sending in his picture, ready to go for the debate with his uh, David Pakman Show t-shirt. Here's my general thoughts on this debate. I was keeping track of this on two fronts. Question by question, I was going on who won on style and presentation and who won on substance. If we add all those up, Mitt Romney did very well in yesterday's debate on style. On substance, President Obama told way less lies and he was much more in line with the reality of the situation. Now, the problem is that doesn't really matter. If you see a transcript, if the only debate people absorbed was through reading a transcript of it, Mitt Romney's answers and flip-flopping would have been completely unintelligible and President Obama would have absolutely dominated that debate. As we know and as we've known since uh, John F. Kennedy debated uh, way back when in that incredible first television debate, uh, modern television debate, uh, it's not just about what it would look like on a transcript. And Mitt Romney did do well as far as that goes. Now today, as expected, we're seeing the right wingers say that Mitt Romney did incredibly well. And I predict we will probably see a one to two point bump for Mitt Romney in, in some polls. Now the question is, how many un, uh, uh, undecided voters are there really? In Ohio, for example, we were talking about Obama's already polling more than 50%. So even if Romney gets all the undecideds, he actually needs to get people that were, had, were already decided on President Obama to switch their vote to Mitt Romney. Nothing really happened, in my opinion, that would get someone to make that change. No, you're right. He, he was way more enthusiastic and animated and um, almost a completely different person from when he was giving his, his speeches. No question about it. And the other thing also, let's talk about before we get into the specifics, the format of the debate. This format was terrible and Jim Lehrer was not a good moderator on a number of different fronts. Do you guys agree? Yes, 100%. Number one, the format of the debate essentially allowed and fostered the citing of talking points in a vacuum and not really pointing out from President Obama, even though for reasons we'll get into, he didn't seem to want to point out the incompetence and flip-flopping from Romney on every single issue. So Jim Lehrer tried, let's be honest, Jim Lehrer tried, number one, to be remotely in control of the debate, but number two, to get them to address each other. During the first question, during that first question about jobs, how would you create jobs, Jim Lehrer said, respond directly to what he said. I think he said it to Obama or maybe said it to Romney. And they didn't. And this happened in 2008. We went in expecting fireworks. They barely talked to each other, Obama and McCain in 2008. Same thing here. It seems to be a strategy. It really seems to be the strategy. Now, that being said, the questions were not good, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of Jim Lehrer's questions were, what are the differences between the two of you? It's an open-ended question. Let's get some specific questions here to make it more obvious that there's no answer being given. If you say, what are the differences, it's too easy to just cite talking points and talk about whatever you want. I, I know they're not going to answer, Jim, but at least ask a more specific question. I thought he didn't do a good job. He had no control over the, the, the debate either. Yeah, he didn't really ask even one specific question. He would say, let's talk about uh, this topic now. You can start. And what are the differences between the two of you on this very broad topic? Right. And the only other thing he would say is, respond to that. It was not good. Awful. The other thing, I was actually looking forward to the split screen that we got because I liked looking at how each candidate was reacting when the other was talking. Now, President Obama did look tired, bored, irritated in many of the cases when Mitt Romney was talking. Mitt Romney, when President Obama was talking, had that vapid, psychopathic look on his face that he seems to go to any time he has to listen to someone else speak. Now, Natan, you were saying you didn't like the side by side. I didn't like the side by side. Uh, when I saw a clip of the debate, uh, the same thing that I had seen before in split screen, using the you know the full medium shot that was on Obama, Obama looks a lot less bored and a lot less uncomfortable than it seemed in the split screen in the close up. So, uh, so I think that so did him. So separate from whether you liked it, you think that the split screen actually hurt Obama? Yes, al although admittedly, like you said, Romney had this very bizarre look on his face, like he was salivating and just like eating everything up. Uh, it was very bizarre. 
as far as zingers, and then we'll get into the content, as far as zingers, all the zingers we were expecting to hear, there was nothing. The one that would even be remotely close was Mitt Romney saying to President Obama, listen, you're entitled to your own plane and your own home, but not your own facts. It fell flat, kind of a non-factor. Whatever zingers were planned, we saw none of them. Yeah, there was only one zinger, and that was directed at Jim Lehrer when Obama said, I had five seconds before you interrupted me. Which I don't think was his best moment, to no. be honest.